Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group G Round 2 match between Rio Bravo and his Dark Elves up against Nuru with his Undead. Rio Bravo won the toss, chose to receive. I can tell you how they qualified. Rio Bravo is from Ukraine and qualified through Blood Bowl Ukraine's league Trident Bowl for Road to Fame. And Nuru is French, qualified through Franco Ball, Road to the World Championship. So there you go, there are the coaches. The table looks like this. Both Rio Bravo and Nuru both won their first game uh, against D.I.V. and Mata Belitos. So, yep, this is the winner of this. Will not have qualified, but they'll be very close to qualification. Um, you know, if there is a winner. And um, looking at the teams, we've got three dodge, a block, a wrestle, and a leader. So pretty standard Dark Elves with an Apo. And, of course, Undead are pretty much always 13 players, four ghouls, three rerolls. He's gone for the three guards, a tackler, and only two skills on ghouls, block and wrestle. Right. Interesting to receive in the rain. Is he going to Dakar here? It looks like he could be going to Dakar. Honestly, I feel like just going for the pickup first is better, like because everything's protected then, isn't it? Rather than least moves first. But I mean, it is a Dakar. I just didn't think it was because he didn't go back that far, but I guess you don't need to go that far, back that far. I think Dakar is pretty good versus Undead. Mummies are really slow, and they're not smashing you with Mighty Blow, so that's nice, isn't it? it doesn't make the pickup lovely dice. Lovely customised dice there for the uh, Dark Elves. And lovely customised um, colour scheme here, isn't it, in design. Very nice, very pretty, very pretty undead. So, Rio Bravo is probably going to have to reroll the pickup next turn. <laughs> Milf. <laughs> probably going to have to just do the pickup first and reroll it if it fails. Having to play like a normal Blood Bowl team rolling three pluses. Absolutely disgusting. No. Oh wow, this is a long blitz. Double rush to get a 2D in. Scatters the ball! Glorious. Oh, protects no, it. No, I won't give in. Until oh, I'm yuddy. victorious. And I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. 10 minute wait for the game. Game starts instant ad break. Dice. Well, thank you very much for staying fantastic, Yudi. I do apologise on the adverts. I cannot control them in any way. Believe me, I would have played them while there was nothing happening, if I could have. But uh, thank you very much for staying fantastic. Oh yeah. Is he going to go for the runner pickup? I really hate the runner pickup, just quietly. I'd definitely go for the uh, blodger. By the way, these dice look beautiful. Beautiful dice. I uh, I thought about getting them when, I, when they came up in the shop once, and then didn't because I thought the dice that I already had were really good. But these dice look incredibly. This is an interesting, very wide Daka with advanced wings, isn't it? Interesting. I hate it personally because this is how Diamond defended the Daka versus Elliot. I remember by like driving the wedge into them and it means that these two then can't go and support this side and these two can't go and support that side and the, the ones in the middle they just find it really hard to go to a side as well so we shall see uphilling the mummy seemed a really good play here and the problem is like doing it first action is takes a lot of balls but if it works I could have gone straight through Me 
make some dodges. And the problem you've got here is, like, by going back, like, you haven't got that many turns to get through with elves, right? Dark elves. You're pretty slow. So you don't really want to be this far back. You want to kind of... You want to go a little nudge to one side, then switch back to the other and leave them in the dust. And by, like, just going back and not committing, he's also kind of not committing. So you're not really getting a chance... You've really got to like work the Daka pretty early. Helps if you don't get, you know, a halfling thrown at your ball carrier. But um you know. uh, turn four just Turn four already seems a little bit too late here. We shall see. Rolls a one, get some hits in. Lovely 3D. Could base the ball, seeing as he hasn't. Oh wow. Didn't get the pow. Could try and base the ball, seeing as he hasn't got dodge, right? Oh wow. Huge cars. Every cars is pretty huge for Dark Elves. Normally they don't get too many players removed, but you know, sometimes you can cars out half the team. <laughs> Subtle Jim, they call him. Oh, he's blitzing the ball. Okay, just running all the way around for a 1D. And pretty good, actually, right? With the, the, the rain, things could happen. And. Things do happen, he gets the knockdown and the KO, he apples this to keep him on the pitch. And now, there's no real obvious path forward, and he has lost the ball, it's pretty disastrous. Didn't have the ball on a blodger, just quietly. But now he's going to try and get it on the blodger and has to reroll this. Fails it. And wow. Wow, 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 wow. The tackler is right there, the ghouls are right here. This could be an absolute disaster for a real Bravo. His name is Rio and he dances on the sand. Probably about midnight uh, to Lacus after. <laughs> <laughs> after everybody is bored or maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow but I think you know try and do the other ones first hello Hargrim try and get through the other games first right the ones that people haven't seen um, makes more sense to me Also, the longer I wait, the more clear my head is, so I can try to give impartial analysis. Oh, he just goes in. Okay. I thought he'd have stole out the heart. He just goes in. Interesting. Interesting. I would have definitely tried to just, like, cage up and stall out the half there. They don't have, like, super good sackers, do they, with Dark Elves? No, I don't know how... Incredible the board, the board state was or whatever, but I would have definitely been looking to uh, cage it and stuff because Dark Elves can definitely score in three turns. Especially when you give them a flank like this. And with a runner, helps a little bit. I hate this initial move over here, right? Because this guy's going five, six, seven, right? So you, you want the ball like here. You want the ball. You want the uh, you want the player here. Oh wow! He double rushes to hand off, and then fails the hand off. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you know scoring early was a br br brilliant idea from Nuru, 
Now he's got a chance to go 2 0 up. Flip me. Flip me out of re rolls. Rio Bravo. I mean, I don't think that was the play. I think that's the play if you're doing a two turn, but he had a three turn chance. So I think he should have just screened it and then made the transfer next turn without doing two rushes. Doesn't get a blitz with tackle, rolls of power anyway. Is he going to put the tackle under the witch? No. Just ready, ready to strike. Gonna, gonna like rush back in eye cage. Has to reroll this. Yep. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Bit tougher for Dark Elves when they have to face a real team, isn't it? <laughs> but, um. Goes for the Witch Elf hit here. One into one. Gets the push. Oh, it was only. It was so far to get there, it was only one dice. Flip me. Rolled a million dice there, to be fair, Rio Bravo. A million dice. Didn't feel anything. But, um, still can have a really strong turn here. Can Nuru. Didn't follow. I guess you can do the mummy, the zombie hit first. Okay, he does the zombie hit first. Gets a pal. Not in scoring range for the ghoul. He's just gonna run away though. Yeah, run, run to the corner. Okay, the old potato. The old potato tries to stop him coming around a bit, but the uh, witch can come through here. Oh, that's tackle though. One, two, go this way. Oh, couldn't? Could he not have gone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush, rush. That has to be better than three. Uh, three, two. Yeah, yeah, that was better. Or he could have jumped over or something. No, no, up, up, up and down was better, wasn't it? I think. Two rerolls, so I can still punch things. Only a two dice though. Three D from the mummy into another three D. Into another three D from a zombie. No, dude, you've got a three D with a zombie. You've just done it with a mighty blow, guys. Well, there you go. Two nil has um, pretty much won the game for Nuru. Up against ten Dells. Full team. The Dells have got to turn him over twice to get the draw. Yeah, it's pretty... <laughs> It's pretty bad for the Dark Owls, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Removal, down to nine.
somehow. It's good this isn't it, it's dual purpose having this screen out because it protects your mummies and also it means that these can only 3 plus out. Like you've got to blitz this guy to get this guy. Both them out on a 2. So you could also have another player here actually. If you put another player there then they can't blitz them and they can't get the guys out at all really. So probably should have had another player up here. But uh, it doesn't. And we get to blitz him and rescue both of these guys. Blitz. Mm, doesn't follow. Scared of getting too DB'd. A guard in front. And it's, they, they can't really cage dive, can they, Dark Owls? They're unfortunately a fair bit worse than Wood Elves in desperation yeah. situations. And boy howdy is this a desperation situation. This is a 2D was wrestle quite quite good isn't it? The safest most likely way to move him. Simple solve. Then we have the big double double width cage corners. We can have the tackle in the middle so he's protected as well. There is the there is the way through the back though. Back, the back door is open. Honestly, it's so bad for you at this point that trying to go in the back isn't too bad. <laughs> Rolls a one. So he does go in the back. Wait, no, he doesn't. He doesn't go in. He just punches. Okay, well, I don't think that was worth using a reroll on all this. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Two rerolls gone to face the ball. When there's a tackle right there, ready at two dice, yeah. It's, it seems bad. Like, I know it was a horrible situation. And there were no good answers, but that seemed particularly not good. It's the knockdown. Maybe he shouldn't have followed there, right? To keep the cage a little bit stronger. Oh, he's got a zombie as well. Yeah, so he could have not followed, then this zombie could have moved over and based both of those. I'd have put uh, this guy in here now to stop, completely stop the stupid, uh, the stupid ball sack attempt. No, yep. dodges in the front. Gets a push and gets another push. Oh, 
use dodge to get in there. This has somehow become a little tricky. Oh wow, both down. I'm not sure this was the right way to solve it, but it might work. Okay. Well, there's lots of pals here. So he gets a cage over there. There is the jump up which I have to worry about, but it could stick a foul in. It's got a zombie right there. I might have fouled before the uh, ghoul hit. No, oh, sent off. So, foul first would have definitely. Oh no, argue the call. Well, that's still turn off. So, there you go. Punch first was better. The problem with the punch first is, right, you kind of want to reroll it if it goes wrong. And, uh, but then, going right is good. Hard to say. I mean, really hard for the Dells now, isn't it? How are they going to turn over and get two touchdowns? Like, they've got to do kind of crazy plays for the ball. Probably had to play even crazier earlier, to be honest. Yeah, Magic Cup, yeah, funnily enough, I've, I've noticed that before as well. Yeah. Yeah. Huge blockless block. Gets the pushes. He could just try to score here, right? Oh no, it'd be a dodge. It'd be a dodge. I thought he could just go in and double rush, but it would, it would have been a dodge. It's less exciting, isn't it? If it was just two rushes to score, it would have been a little bit tempting. Dells are basically running it out of anything here. Thorough gripper snaps. Wow, more skits. Jesus. I mean, if they're allowed, <laughs> aren't there a lot of Vara Gripper snots and aren't there a lot of Morgue Skitter snots? It seems like not a good rule set, if you ask me. Yeah, Underworld Morgue seems pretty strong. If you allow it. So yeah, no, no rush for the undead here, is there, like, to score anything, to be fair. Although, yes, they could have rushed to score last turn. Now they can just bunker up. Loads of guard. Guard on all the corners. Absolute mega bunker. Just don't let the witch elf do any kind of, like, frenzy shenanigans to, to get the ball, you know, chain the ball carrier out. I think I'm not liking this. This looks like he's gone a bit aggro. I feel like just mega bunkering where he was was way better than this. Way better than whatever this is. This is like a double rush from a mummy. And the back's open as well. Yeah, this is, he, had, he had to double rush with a mummy. Like, just stay where you are. You're two nil up. Really weird. Yeah. 
That's the full power. Nice done. These dice are great, aren't they? Oh, wow. I wish I'd got them. I'll get them next time they're in the store. Turn 16. Just got a blitz and score, hasn't he? <laughs> it's literally as simple as that. Or is it a rush? I can't. No, oh, yeah, it's blitz and score. There we go. 3 0 win. <laughs> Not bad. Good for tiebreakers, too, isn't it? So this win will almost certainly secure Nuru's spot. Oh, timeout. Probably should have like set up in chevrons right in case of a timeout. Like I guess he's not too worried about the, t the, the tiebreakers of conceding, but after scoring three, but it could be a thing if this is a touchdown. Try to off screen it. He's got no rerolls of his own, has he, uh, Nuru? So. It's the full power. Breaky tea. Thank you very much. I'll break it if you prefer. Welcome. Got the Welcome. New Roo. A fellow Frenchie has uh, smashed Rio Bravo here. To pieces. <laughs> but, um. He's got a 2 plus to get a consolation. And he gets it. There you go. What absolute dominance from the undead there. Unbelievable. And uh, I can actually show you the table after the result. There you go. So. Wait. <laughs> no, that's not that. That's not after the result, is it? <laughs> That's before the result. Bear with me. There we go. So the undead are on two wins, and Rio Bravo's on a win and a loss. So with those four touchdowns, four. That's pretty strong tiebreakers for Nuru. So um, he's not qualified. Yet, I don't think, technically, technically not qualified, but very good chance of being qualified. And uh, there you go. Congratulations to him. Commiserations, Rio Bravo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.